The Municipality of Anchorage Platting Board Authority will now come to order. May we have roll call? Mr. Porter? Here. Mr. Young? Present. Ms. Enix? Here. Ms. Ritz? Here. Here. Mr. Seward? Here. Mr. Cross? Here. Mr. Walker? Here. And Ms. Walsine and Mr. Edmondson are excused for the evening. Thank you. The Platting Board meets each month on the first and third Wednesday, except holidays, as regular meetings. If the Platting Board fails to complete our agenda for the regular meeting, the Board will carry over the remainder of the agenda to the following meeting. The procedure by which the public may speak to the Platting Board at this meeting is after the staff presentation is complete on public hearing items, I will ask for public testimony on the issue. If you wish to testify, you need to follow the time limits established in the Commission Rules of Procedure. Petitioners and their representatives are given 10 minutes. They may reserve part of their time for rebuttal. Representatives of groups like community councils and PTAs are given five minutes. Individuals are given three. When your testimony is complete, you may be asked questions by the Board. You may only testify once on an issue unless we ask you questions. I see we have uh, approvals. Do I have a motion to approve the action summaries from August 16th? We're not set up here to, to respond. You've now moved? No, because I hit this to request to respeak, but um, I can't respond to this. Okay. So you'd like to move? I'll move. Dan Young moves. And do we have a second? Kevin a Cross second. is seconded. Thank you, sir. And <clears throat> is there any opposition to the action summary for August 16th? Seeing none, the motion passes. We'll now turn our attention to the minutes from August 16, 2017. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? I will move. Kevin Cross has moved and Dan Young has seconded. Are there any changes or amendments that need to be made to the minutes? Seeing none, seeing no opposition, the motion to approve the minutes passes. Uh, looks like no consent. We do have disclosures here. Uh, are there any disclosures for tonight's business? Dan Young. In the case S12361, Susitna Title Flat Subdivision, lot number one, my firm has had business dealings with the petitioner's rep representative on other matters. I'm a former employee of the petitioner's representative. I have no financial or personal interest in the matters before the board tonight. I can remain impartial. In fact, in action as a member of this board without personal bias, my past involvement and personal interests will not prevent me from fairly evaluating the facts of this case. Thank you. May I have a motion? Directing Dan Young to participate in case S12361. Kevin Cross moves. And is there a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Cross, would you like to speak to your motion? Regarding Dan Young's uh, disclosure, uh, regarding S12361, to sit in a title flat subdivision lot one, Dan Young says he has no personal or financial interest in, this, in the case before the board and can remain partial and give clear judgment. I move that he participate. 
Thank you. Don Porter has seconded. Is there any other findings the board would like to offer at this time? Is there any opposition to having Dan Young participate? Seeing no opposition, the motion passes unanimously. Dan Young, you are directed to participate in case S12361. Are there any other disclosures this evening? Seeing no more disclosures, um, there is no consent agenda tonight. And there's no old business. Um, okay, may we have staff's presentation of case S12361, Susitna Title Flats Subdivision. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, my name is Francis McLaughlin. I'll be presenting uh, and answering questions regarding uh, this case uh, for uh, Sean, Hudel, Sean Odell, who was the uh, uh, planner assigned to um, review the case. He wasn't able to make it tonight. Um, this is a consolidation. This is a resubdivision to consolidate uh, three lots into one with a vacation of a 20 foot wide um, uh, AWU uh, sanitary sewer easement. Um, AWU has no objection to uh, the vacation of the easement. Um, the department is recommending uh, approval of the vacation request uh, of the 25, 20 foot wide sanitary sewer easement um, subject to the recording of a suitable replat in 24 months uh, of this approval and any approved time extensions. The department is also recommending approval of the plat for 24 months subject to conditions one through five on pages um, eight and nine. Um, uh, condition one is a standard condition, three as well, um, and five uh, has our usual plat notes. Um, condition of approval two, entering into a subdivision agreement with private development uh, for the improvement of uh, the sidewalk. Um, that is um, uh, something typically required under new code um, um, and uh, is warranted here. Uh, there's not uh, a sidewalk on that side of the, the street. And when they replat in uh, three into one, this is the uh, opportunity to uh, um, get the sidewalk built and any other road improvements. I think there's mention here of uh, street lights and drainage facilities. Um, and then uh, uh, the condition number four, condition of approval number four on page nine of your packet is the dedication of a five foot public use easement running east west along the street. And that is to, uh, since the street is 30 foot wide on the south half and then 25 foot wide on the north half, to bring it to the 60 feet of um, uh, right of way needed, uh, um, the standard right of way width, uh, the, um, that's where the requirement for the five foot PUE um, is. Uh, um, is called out and it was offered by the uh, the applicant. It's already shown on the plat. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them. Thank you. Thank you. Does the board have any questions for staff at this time? May we have petitioner's representative? Hi, I'm Michelle McNulty, MC and ULTY with Dow. With me um, are the owner's representatives, Fred and Lowell Stetzler and Gretchen Cuddy. Um, as staff has indicated, the project site is located at the northwest corner of 9th Avenue and P Street. It's currently undeveloped. The owners have um, removed the previous structures that were on the site. We are requesting to replat the three parcels into one. Um, as well as vacating two 10-foot sewer, uh, sanitary sewer lines um, so that the sewer main on the property can be removed and relocated to the south end of the public alley. The parcels are all zoned R3 or multifamily residential. The owners intend to redevelop the site with a multifamily apartment building. Uh, we did meet with the South Edition Community Council on April 20th to discuss the project. They did have some questions, which are um, page 27 of your staff report. But in general, uh, they did support the project. 
We've read the staff report and the conditions of approval, and we with, agree with them as written by staff, and I'll save the rest of my time for a rebuttal. Thank you. And you have nine minutes and seven seconds. Okay. <laughs> Are there any questions for the petitioner's representative? Thank you. Thank you. Are there any members of the public who wish to speak this evening? Good evening. Good evening. Are you with a group or an in Just an individual. Okay. My name is Robert Gottstein. I'm an adjacent property owner, and I'm a thousand percent in support of this replat. Um, I was born in what is now the parking lot of Benihana's. I live three blocks from where I was born. It's a great place, and I believe this is just a perfect, perfect um, use of this property. And as the adjacent property owner. I have, they have my full support for this project. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mr. Gottstein? Thank you, sir. Are there any other members of the public wishing to speak? Anyone representing groups? Okay. Well, with that, the, we'll now hear you in rebuttal. No rebuttal. Just like to thank staff for a really good staff report. Thanks. Thank you. And now the matter rests with the board. May I have a motion to approve the request to vacate? Kevin Cross moves. Would you like to state your motion, Mr. Cross? Regarding case number S12361, Susitna Title Flat Subdivision Lot 1, Subdivision of Three Lots and 1, I move that we um, grant the petitioner's request to vacate. The sanitary sewer easement running north and south. Okay. And is there a second for the motion? I second the motion. Thank you. And just for clarification, I think the motion states it's approval to request a 20-foot wide sanitary sewer easement described as the east 10 feet of the lot 7A L Street slide, side, street slide subdivision and the west 10 feet of lot 6A L Street slide subdivision subject to recording the suitable plat within 24 months. Is that correct, Mr. Cross? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> are there any findings that the board would like to offer with respect to the motion on the floor? Mr. Young. Thank you, through the chair. I intend to support this motion, and I find that on page three, um, the existing topography along P Street right of way appears to, to make this development of a road meeting municipal standards impossible. The, on page four, I find that the, the um, private development section has no objections. Traffic also on page four has no objections to the vacation. On page six, long range planning has no objections to the uh, municipal request that was submitted in this case. Anchorage Water and Wastewater uh, stated there's no impact from the, um, the vacationing of the easement. We heard um, from staff tonight that the sidewalk is warranted and this plat will provide the sidewalk. We heard uh, public comment tonight in strong support of this and there was also a written comment on page 35 that um, also supported this and there was an absence of of um, anybody opposed to this. So I'm, for those reasons, I'm gonna support this motion. Thank you. Are there any other findings? Is there any opposition to the motion on the floor? Seeing no opposition, the motion passes unanimously. 
May I have a motion to approve the plat for 24 months subject to the conditions one through five on page eight and nine of the staff's presentation. Dan Young moves and Kevin Cross seconds. Um, would you like to speak to your motion, Mr. Young? Yes, I, I um, move that we approve the plat for 24 months subject to the following conditions. And these are conditions one and two on page eight and conditions three, four, five on page nine. Excellent. Thank you. Are there any other findings that the uh, board would like to offer on the motion on the floor? Is there any opposition to the motion? Seeing no opposition, the motion passes unanimously. Any individual may have appeal rights relating to any action the planning board takes. Appeal of this decision or any of the conditions is governed by Anchorage Municipal Code 2111-304, and the decision of the board at the scheduled public hearing becomes the final, uh, becomes final seven calendar days after the decision is made on the record, unless a written request is submitted to the planning division prior to the expiration of the seventh day to prepare a written decision based on the record made at this hearing, and that request is accompanied by a written notice of intent to appeal. Adoption of the written decision by the planning board becomes the final appealable decision, Within 20 days of the final appealable decision, an interested party must file with the municipal clerk either a written motion alleging new evidence or changed circumstances pursuant to AMC 2111-503 or an appeal of the board's final appealable decision under AMC 2130. Are there any other persons that wish to be heard before the planning board tonight? Seeing none, well, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Dan Young. So moves. Is there a second? Second. Very well. And we now stand in adjournment. <laughs>